New Day does indeed rock and they are in the house tonight, soaking in the atmosphere in the Capital Wrestling Center. Having just lost their NXT Tag Team titles, many were surprised to see one of the greatest teams in WWE history still in NXT. Woods and Kofi take the chance to say they're giving themselves one last opportunity to strike for gold. Dallas took the Tag Team titles. Simply put, they want them back. Stand and deliver. It'll either be where the New Day take the next step towards wrestling immortality, or where they take their last stand in NXT. But they want to go out making history once again. Whatever the outcome, at Stand and Deliver, it'll be a ladder match. Kofi and Woods are at the top of their game when the event rolls around. They've beaten every team NXT can throw at them. Except the tag team champions. Gala sent to Los Angeles and it's clear who the crowd is siding with from the start. The action is tense. Gallus are making the most of their strength advantage from the start, but New Day has the world on their side in LA. Down goes Gallus. New Day are ready to become champions again. They both go up to the top of the ladder. What the hell is going on? Solo Sokoa, the heavy hand of the bloodline, just evaded takeover and sent the New Day crashing down. Solo takes out both men, and with it, the New Day are defeated. To come so close and lose it in that way, it wasn't the way New Day wanted to go out in NXT. But their work here is done. There's a very familiar target on the horizon. WrestleMania comes and goes, and there's a new face at the top of the WWE. Cody Rhodes has dethroned the Tribal Chief and become the new WWE Champion. Holding the title, he said he would honor his father with. Thanks to his defense on night one, however, Roman Reigns is still the Universal Champion, but the ego of the Tribal Chief is severely dented. Having taken time off to recover after headlining both nights, Roman Reigns is set to deliver the Tribal Chief Summit, when suddenly, it's a new day, yes it is. The New Day are back on SmackDown, and it's Kofi Kingston who takes the helm this time, calling out Solo and Roman for their antics that cost them a stand and deliver. Well, now the New Day are here to stay, and since Roman has managed to break up his own brotherhood, why don't New Day put the cherry on top of the pancake and take the universal title? Roman laughs this off. The tribal chief claims he has no time for someone like Kofi or Woods. Now he's got a point to prove after his loss to Cody Rhodes and caves in, accepting the challenge. Kofi gladly takes this on being Jimmy Uso in singles competition, and even getting a shocking victory over Roman in a six-man tag match before Money in the Bank. But once we get there, and the title is on the line, it's a different story. This is one pissed off Tribal Chief. He is destroying Kofi. No matter what the crowd does to cheer him on, it's all in vain. Roman Reigns decimates Kofi choking him out before finishing him off with back-to-back -back spears and claiming a dominant defense of his Universal Championship. The match is done. Kofi is done. But Roman is far from done. Woods has seen enough and goes to make the save. But Solo is there to meet him and run him down, flooring one half of the New Day. Kofi is busted open, and all of Razor's anger is said to be taken out with a final, vicious blow. We all want to go big. This Say that. Can you believe it? After over a year on the shelf from a broken neck, Big E has returned. The crowd is in shock. Roman Reigns is disbelieved. Big E has met my solo, but down goes Sokoa. Big E has saved Kofi from a vicious beatdown, and now he's looking into the eyes of the Tribal Chief. Roman stands his ground, and the fight is on. He's been away for a year, but Big E will not back down. They keep fighting until Roman gets the big shot. Big E goes down to the Superman punch, and Reigns looks to put Big E back on the injury list again. The spear is lined up. Big E has floored Reigns. The place goes mad as Big E holds the Universal Championship over the head of the Tribal Chief. Where do we go from here? 
That Friday on SmackDown, Big E returns to stand on the blue brand for the first time since before last year's WrestleMania. He's overwhelmed by it all. The reaction to the crowd, the reality that he's back in wrestling. It's all so much for him to take on. But after taking a moment to soak it all in, he sets his sights on what he's back here for. Big E thanks everyone around the world for all the support through his recovery. He didn't think he'd get the chance to stand here again as a WWE superstar. But he's back. And he's not here to just shake his booty and put smiles on faces. He's here to be the one. In his own words, for over 1,000 days, only one man has held a universal championship. That man is the tribal chief. The same man who attempted to destroy my friend, my brother, in Kofi Kingston. That would sit right with me. I know what it's like to be at the top of the mountain. And damn, this may be one tall ass mountain. But I'm gonna get there again. Roman Reigns, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for the Universal Championship. And I'm kicking your ass off that mountain. For me, for everyone around the world, and for Kofi Kingston. It's clear now that the actions at Money in the Bank have rattled Reigns. His demeanor is more vicious. He isn't looking for acknowledgement. He's looking to hurt. The fear of the bloodline is back in WWE. And Big E may have made his declaration. But it's Reigns who's standing tall. Next week, the Tribal Chief goes on a run down Big E. Saying he's just a big man being carried by his friends. But look now. The friends are gone. You're stuck here with me. Alone on my island. You want this, E? Well, I hope your family is ready. Because I'm gonna make what happened to you last year look like a sprained ankle. I don't want you to acknowledge me. At SummerSlam, I want to end you. And here we go again! The fight is back on, and the bloodline are caught napping! Big E gets in shots, spearing Reigns to the floor! He lines up Reigns again, ready to send a massive statement when... It's Jey Uso! He's back, and he's proven his allegiance! Jey Uso stands with the bloodline again, and the numbers game is even less in Big E's favor! Reigns gloats this up the week after, calling on Big E to find friends, if he even has any, to face his bloodline in a six-man tag that evening. If Roman Reigns wins, it's no DQ at SummerSlam, meaning all his bloodline will be around the ring, ready to make sure Big E is taken down. If Big E wins, they do it alone. No bloodline, just Roman and the wise man. Roman's confidence was brimming, but he seemed to forget one thing. Everyone loves Big E, and everyone hates Roman Reigns. So that evening, he got the backup he needed. It didn't matter that the bloodline had Jay back. It wasn't gonna be enough. Stunner, halluva kick, big ending. Roman Reigns can only watch on as... Big E books his ticket a SummerSlam. The Bloodline beaten, and Reigns has to go it alone. The next week, they sign the contract to confirm it. Each trading their trash talk over the table. Reigns says he's glad Big E's family will be front row at SummerSlam. They can watch up close and personal as E's career ends before their eyes. Big E says it's a shame his family isn't at ringside to watch John as he loses it all. But it's okay. Since Rocky has a film out this summer, he's sure they'll be acknowledging the real tribal chief. And wouldn't you know it, here we go again. Reigns has proven the world Big E is under his skin. And with the need to beat him up tonight, it becomes his undoing. Is this what we will witness at SummerSlam? There's only one way to find out.
crowd is electric for the main event of SummerSlam. Big E and Reigns had crossed paths before, but now there was so much more on the line. Every hit with purpose behind it. Every move looking to set up the next heavy blow. There's nothing that will stop these two men from hurting each other. Not even the barricade. Is this Reigns' chance to end it? He locks the guillotine in. The surgically repaired neck of Big E is squeezed down on. But Big E is no quitter. He gets out and it's the big ending. It's not enough. And the wise man is worried. Roman said he wouldn't bring his family out. But Heyman never said he wouldn't. The Usos are here, reunited once again. They're ready to use the numbers game to their advantage, but Big E has his own family too. The New Day are back in Big E's corner and they take care of the Usos, but they forgot about one. This can't be happening. Reigns goes to the corner. After everything they did, is the over 1,000 day reign set to continue? This is the moment! There's a look in his eye! The new day of the world! Cheer him on! Big E hits the big ending! New Universal Champion from the brink of retirement, Big E has done the almost unthinkable. Don't you dare be sour. Clap for your new Universal Champion and feel the power.